Hey guys, what's on? It's Scott or Zephyr here. Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, I'm showing you my new team that me and my friend Gentle, shout out Gentle, created on um, Showdown the other day that we've now built in game and are having a ton of fun playing and seeing a ton of success with. Uh, so it's a set up her Shifu team compared to like, you know, the typical rapid strike balance team. Um, this is dark her Shifu, single strike, and it's got bulk up, wicked blow, and drain punch with detect. So that's very, very different to what you'll typically see her Shifu's running. But I've been using it a ton. I've seen a lot of success with it, especially into the current meta game. And yeah, let's just get into the team breakdown. It's a lot easier that way. So starting us off on the team breakdown is obviously the Urshifu I was just talking about. I don't need to explain Urshifu to you. It's in the meta game for a reason. It's got a very high percentage usage rate for a reason. It, that reason is Unseen Fist. If you don't know what Urshifu does, it can hit any Pokemon through Protect. It doesn't care about Protect, which is just broken, stupid. Probably shouldn't exist, but it does. And it's here now, so there's not really much we can do about it. So you'll typically see people run in Rapid Strike Urshifu because one, it's water, so it fits into the balance teams that we've been seeing tons of since Regulation C really, really well. Um, Surgeon Strikes is a 25 base power move that hits three times every time to critical. So it kind of takes Palafin's role in this new regulation and kind of does it better, essentially, as you don't need to swap it in and out. But Dark Urshifu is something that I've been playtesting as said with Gentle recently. I think in a way it's better than Rapid Strike Urshifu. The only thing is that it gets countered by itself, but that's why you have Terra Poison, one for Flutter Mains and other fairy types, and two for Urshifu, Iron Hands, etc. And then my set is Drain Punch, Wicked Blow, Bulk Up, and Detect. So the idea here is you get one Bulk Up off, whether that's on your first turn when you get the opportunity to, or whether you reposition Urshifu on your board, because with this set, it really does need good positioning on the field to be able to be utilized well. You can't just get it out Bulk Up and start smashing things. I mean, you can in certain situations, but you're not gonna see that happen too often. But once you get like that first bulk up down, your defense is gonna be great. You're gonna be able to start drain punching things and doing a lot of regen in to keep her shifu around. And then Wicked Blow is just gonna destroy Flutter Main and Rillaboot, uh, most of the Pokemon in the meta game right now after one bulk up. And you're not gonna be taking a lot of excess damage. So we've got safety goggles on it. So if Among Us is about or other p potential like Spore users, that sort of thing, pollen kind of moves, then it's not gonna be bothered by that and overall i think it's a really really good set i've enjoyed using it i've had some success using it and obviously if you guys want to try it the code is in the top corner for you to be able to rent the team and try it out yourself okay so up next is gudra uh, if you've been playing regulation d once again gudra requires no introduction we're talking about hisui and gudra by the way not normal gudra but Gudra has Shell Armor, which is an incredible ability, probably an S-tier ability in my personal opinion in the current format. Uh, with Urshifu running around everywhere, Shell Armor stops the Pokemon from being crit hit. That doesn't mean Rapid Strike or Single Strike Urshifu can't deal crit hits, so they can't do what they're really, really good at. And, you know, Gudra's defense stat is ridiculous as well. It's got leftovers for recovery, and on top of that, most people are running Rillaboom, so you get leftovers and grassy terrain recovery. So that's insane. Like, this thing stays around for so long, and people do not want it to stay around as it can be an uh, endgame winning scenario in itself. Uh, then we've got Fairy Terror, so that it negates most of the things that are trying to hit it. So, for instance, Urshifu again, Iron Hands, uh, Flutter Main kind of does neutral damage to it. Uh, not, it doesn't do much damage to it anyway but you know just fairy terror is really really useful as and when it's necessary um and then we've got heavy slam because heavy slam pretty much okos most flutter mains uh body press because you're going to be hitting shelter for this pokemon its next move which raises its defense by two stages once you've hit that three times body press is doing a ton of damage and gudra is just kind of sitting there and people start to panic and try and get rid of it and it's got life do to just be able to recover one its teammates and to itself so this thing is almost an unstoppable tank that sits on the field it fits in any team and it's just a really really good pokemon overall okay so here's the next weird pokemon on this team and you're all probably looking at my mon and being like why does it have that set but i promise you the set's really good so we're running reggie Alecki as a screen setter this kind of came down to me and gentle wanted to have a screen setter on the team like screen reflect you know to be able to bulk up urshifu and gudra even more allow them to do their thing and then start taking ko's left right and center we talked about Grimmsnarl. Uh, Gentle says how Grimmsnarl is good, but Grimmsnarl, you know, you've got Flutter Main running around in the format that can Oko it, along with other things. Iron Hands hits it for neutral damage. So the best next thing was Regieleki, because once Grimmsnarl set up Light Screen and Reflect, it's either just Thunder Waving things or it's using Part and Shot, and it's only damage your move is Spirit Break, which is okay, but not great. But Regieleki actually has a move pool. It can speed control, it can switch out, and it can set screens, and it's really, really good. The EV spread on this thing allows it to live 
earth powers, dazzling gleams, all the sort of things you're going to be running into. I can guarantee you most of the time it's going to get those screens up. It's like having Prankster without having Prankster. Instead, you've got Transistor, so it can deal even more damage without actually having to invest too much in special attack. And then you've got Electro Web for speed control, Volt Switch so you can get Regieleki on and off the field as you please, and obviously the screens to be able to actually mitigate damage. Light Clay so that you've got eight turns of screens rather than five turns because overall that's just better. And then we've given it the Ghost Terror type because we did some testing and Regieleki kind of gets nuked by E-Speed Dragonite under Sword of Ruin. So Ghost Terror allows you to do that on turn one if you come into that. And obviously if they E-Speed into you, then they're going to have no results. So yeah, so here it is, the best Intimidate user in the format as far as I'm concerned, Gyarados. You guys can keep Lando T. I think Lando T's bad. I, well, it's not bad, but I don't think it's that good. But Gyarados is it for me. It's no secret that Arcanine is on the decrease, especially with Gyarados now being roaming around. Uh, Lando T roaming around. Both of them hit it for super effective damage. You don't want to use your terror on it all the time. So it's kind of on the low down now. Gyarados, to me, though, outshines Lando T for the reason for one that it can hit Lando T for super effective damage. And you'll find most of the time your opponent doesn't really want to terror the Lando T when they've got like hands or flutter main or something else on the field uh, this gyarados has rocky helmet so you know if you come up against rapid strike urshifu you can make the switch it can come in it can take three rapid strikes very very well because it's a water type it's probably doing like 20 damage and it's got intimidate one to lower that as well and then the rocky helmet is going to deal like 60 percent worth of chip it's got steel terror type because i'd say the only thing gyarados really struggles with is say flutter main and if it's really necessary you can use it but i found with this ev palette gyarados you really don't need to it tanks hits honestly this is better than the 236 spread gyarados shout out to peter and gentle again for making the spread and fine-tuning it down to like perfection they are really really great team builders really really good with numbers and pokemon itself and shout out to them love them i met them the other day they're super nice people thank you for the spread uh, waterfall as its main problem with stab and for 30 percent flinch at nicks like i literally won a game earlier by just flinching and with thunder wave thunder wave because once gyarados has done its thing and if it can't deal any damage it wants to be paralyzing things like flutter main uh, arcanine urshifu whatever's on the field uh, taunt so you can get rid of say cresselia mental herb you can stop gudra from setting up amongst other things and protect so you can play those mind games i'm not going to spend too much time on the last two pokemon on here iron hands and flutter main because if you play vgc you know how meta defining they are as a whole uh, i am going to go through kind of like the sets here so i'm using booster energy iron hands and that's going to come across really weird to a lot of people but there is reason hear me out right so booster energy hands fake out hits for like 20 30 percent damage into lando t it's insane honestly it is ridiculous i think it's underrated if you max 252 special defenses thing it doesn't need navy it doesn't need tons of uh, attack evs it doesn't need tons of hp evs it's pretty good at that in itself it's probably the best pokemon to come out of gen 9 altogether it is ridiculous and once you've got say the booster energy and then you hit a sword stance you're going to be taking ko's left right and center it basically replaces urshifu or you can even leave both and then you can play the game of which pokemon am i going to boost here or you fake out and let your urshifu get a bulk up off it's such a strong Pokemon. Uh, we're running Wild Charge because instead of Thunder Punch, I've actually gone back to Wild Charge because it's the only move that takes out Fluttermane. Uh, Gentle actually let me know that Fluttermane doesn't go down to a Thunder Punch, which is huge, and I just didn't know the entire time. So I've switched back to Wild Charge. Drain Punch because it gives Iron Hands more sustainability and lets it stay around longer. And as I just said, Sword Stance because say you run into an Arcanine, you can still get your damage output back by using Sword Stance. So yeah. And then Fluttermane with Choice Specs. This flat main has a different spread to what I'd usually use, but the spread is really, really good. And then obviously all the quite common moves you find with choice spec flat main. Uh, I don't need to talk about this too much. As I said, it's a cannon. It nukes things. It's as simple as that flat main. And that guys is really about it. So the code for the team is in the top right corner. I'm not leaving a pokey pace in the description right now. I'm sorry. I want to keep the source a secret. There's a tournament this weekend. I want to use this team in it and so i'm going to keep some of those bits of info to myself for a minute you guys can have them at a later date though don't worry about that but yeah for the minute the team is available to rent i'll leave the code in the description and it's on your screens anyway in the top right if you enjoy using the team leave a comment in the description i really really appreciate you guys that interact with my videos it's always nice to hear of you what can be better what's really good if you enjoy it it's just really really nice and i i appreciate it a ton if you're not already subscribed please subscribe we're so close to 550 subs like it feels like yesterday i was talking about having 500 subs now we're on the way to 600 so if you want to support me even further please leave a sub i really appreciate it leave a like on the video as well turn my post notifications on and besides that that's really about it so my name's been scott zephyr thank you so much for your continued support and i'll see you in the next video peace
That is never the lead you want to see, and I will tell you that for facts. <laughs> Protosynthesis special attack, I assume. Yep, of course it is. So let's go detect. Let's go light screen. Or not. Or not. Definitely getting Tailwind Dazzling Gleam though, that's for sure. New blast. Cool. And like he lives! The demon! Oh my god. I think we go Wicked Blow here, and we have to go into Gordy here, yeah. Like, Light Screen's gonna help us out a ton here. Terra Poison's gonna allow us to live whatever. It's not Choice Specs Flutter either, so it probably goes for a Dazzling Gleam here, I would expect, so it's gonna have less damage output, plus Light Screen. And it's not terroring, it's not faster. So, Wicked Blow should just do away with this Flutter Meme here, I expect. Neutral damage, 75 crit into it, unless it's super bulky Flutter Meme. Then even then, I don't think it lives most of the time. Like, I think it's a roll. Moon Blast. Oh no. 42 damage there. Leak Wind Storm, that's not gonna hurt as much. Oh my god. Of course, my Urshi just gets crit all the time, I'm telling you. Like. That is obscene. It's very sad. Gord Gordy just did not care about that, however. Right, now we take a turn to... Do I want a heavy slam? Do I want a heavy slam into this? Or do I want to set up a shelter? I think I'm going to set up a shelter and just protect it. Yeah. Yeah, get off my field, but I mean... See, that could have been free damage, but then the blue wind song would also take me out. So that would have been a mega fringe moment. See, this is where your team starts to fail. Ah, uh, okay. Now, that sucks. That really does suck. However, I'm going to predict normal Terra Dragonite here. So, I'm going to switch out into Flutter Main just in case. And I'm going to body press into this Dragonite. Because if you speed into my Urshifu, then I switch Flutter Main in. It doesn't work. And then if you go normal Terra, then body press does a ton of damage here. If you're in a focused Dragonite, then it might even just die be honest. Oh yes, lovely. I love it when a plan comes together. Yep, that is not gonna like a body press, no matter without shelter, with shelter, I don't think it really matters to be honest. Oh, you are going into my, my Gudra. That is not a lot of damage, bro. <laughs> Please whiff on my flutter main. Oh my god, huge. Gordy does not care about that either, sir. Speed fell, who cares? Goodbye, dragon. Whoa, okay. Oh, multi-scale, of course it is. But the thing is, now you're kind of pinned. Because nothing wants to switch into a Dazzling Gleam for my Flutter main here. So, we can go Dazzling Gleam, Body Press. And it doesn't really matter. Like, D-Knight either takes a ton of damage, or you switch in something that just takes a Dazzling Gleam. And then Tornadoes takes it instead. So, you'll go. <sighs> Are oh, you just going to spam these people with D-Knight? I mean, good job you got me down to half, I guess. Like, Tailwind's cool on that as well, but... I think you just lose both your Pokemon here now. Yeah, D-Knight is going down here. D-Knight does not survive that. <laughs> Ripper Rooney. And I got my Flutter Main on the field safely, so that was huge. Gordy's going to be above half HP here. Hello, opposing Flutter main. Have my Dazzling Gleam. And... I'm just going to Heavy Slam the Tornadus as well, expecting a Taunt, so... Yeah, that's absolutely fine with me. Get ready. God, the light screen is dishing. Wow, what a quick, simultaneous KO straight after the first one. See, the good thing about this team is this team has, like, multiple modes. Like, I don't have to just use Urshifu Bulk Up. I've got the setup Iron Hands of Booster Energy. I've got Gordy to deal with E-Speed Dragonite Chiang Pao. I don't know why you never brought Chiang Pao to the field. Like, that just seems like an Omega L. I just do exactly what I was going to do last turn now. Like, you should just cancel anyway, surely. Ice Spinner. That does not take out my flat Big L. Now you lose. GG's. Charm Pal. 
I'll go on using the only item it ever has. <laughs> Imagine the dynamic duo getting slown by the um, snail dragon. Snail dragon goaded. <laughs> That kid's got a cute little woolly hat. Oh, okay. I see. This is actually super okay with me. I go light screen here, and I go... But I'm going to Thunderbolt here. No, I'm not, because then... Make it rain just KOs us. I'm going to go into hands here. Boost energy hands comes out. Everyone gets terrified. Nobody ever suspects the booster energy hands. Follow me, that's fine. You're gonna nasty plot, right? Make it rain off the bat? Okay, I guess. Like, fair enough. Um, I'm actually just going to set up sword stance. There's no reason not to. Like, Dengo looks even less threatening right now. Flutter main? Flutter main? Flutter main? Flutter main? Flutter main? Draco! Okay. That's fine with me. Let's get our match up. Because now I'm actually going into Flutter main. And the reason I'm going into Flutter main is because... This kind of forces him to terror or switch out. Psychic and DD, I thought that'd be the case. That did a lot of damage, actually. I respect that. Alright, so that Ndidi is, in fact, faster than... But you don't use a dragon move this turn, right? So I'm actually just going to hit Dazzling Gleam, and I'm going to terror Drain Punch this slot. Because I feel like you're going to you either use Dragon Energy and get no value on the Flutter Main, or you do so, or you use Terra Blast on the Flutter Main as Terra Steel, like a lot of the Reggie Dracos going around do. Yeah, here we go. Terra Steel, Terra Steel, Terra Steel, Terra Steel. Yes, red. Even if indeed he uses follow me instead, we get to punch it, and if we don't go down anyway to say dragon energy, we get a ton of damage off. I should have shadow balled, but then if indeed he follows me, I get nothing, so yeah, see, I would have got nothing if I shadow balled here. Some chip jam damage is something, see, that dragon energy is not going to hurt as much. Not going to affect my flutter main. Hands like this. Oh my god, right, the read here is insane. Oh, that is actually crazy. Even though we didn't get to hit the Draco, that's still insane. And stays up. On oh god. Rocky Helmet in DD? Why? <laughs> my board position is good, just my, my iron hands is not enjoying the vibes. Tornadus, okay, that's fine. Right, so we just hit Dazzling Gleam again, and we just Drain Punch the Reggie Draco this turn. Huge. Good damage. Bleak Windstorm. Miss Hands. No! Hands! Sad. Watch it Terror Blast my Flutter Main now. I'll be crying. I will be miserable. Miserable boy. Terror Blast. Okay. How much damage is this doing? That's the question. Not enough to KO. Huge. I think this is the time to bring in Urshifu and get a bulk up down. Okay, right. Dazzling Gleam, bulk up, necessary here. Yeah. Protect, that's huge. That's super okay because we're not targeting it, we're actually just looking. Oh, he's tailwinding now because he didn't leap win last turn, did he? Of course he didn't. Oh, we're going to knock out Tornadus here. Tornadus is not going to enjoy this whatsoever. Goodbye, Tornadus. Salutations. Gonna get the first bowl cup down. Huge. Full HP Urshifu coming in on bowl cup. This is where the tech comes in. Oh, it's Dengo, isn't it? I totally forgot it was Dengo. 
Oh, well, we just don't care then. It's as simple as that. Like, do we swap in a Lecky here just to, just to even this out, really? Like, because we can just take out the Dengo here and then, yeah, 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 no, absolutely. So we go Wicked Blow into the Dengo. There's no way the Dengo lives this. Like, I don't think Make It Rain does a lot to my Chipu behind screens with the special defense investment I have here. Dragon Pulse, that doesn't KO. There's no way. No, no way. Make it rain. That shouldn't KO. Oh my god, Urshi, the bulk. The pure bulk. Yes. Goodbye, Dengo. Eat my wicked glow from my bulk up, Urshi. <laughs> How long's left on Tailwind here? Two turns. Okay, that's fine. Well, we just go Electro Web here to D speed you. Detect. Dragon energy. That really doesn't matter. I don't know if that even cares. Aleki. Aleki lives too! <laughs> and we get the speed down too. Oh my god, it's just end game now. That's a ton of damage from Aleki. I think Aleki actually has the ability to outspeed now, and if he doesn't, it doesn't matter because Flut mains up back. The battle was cancelled. Bulk up Hershey, everybody. Bulk up Hershey. <laughs> One shot and then Dengo's. Hundreds of lives. Mm-hmm.